I'm going to start off by putting together a couple designs to show you how we can combine designs and then we're going to use it in a video to step through color by color because we're not going to use the entire design as it comes up. So we just finished embroidering this little flower. So when I'm done, we can touch the flower and touch the trash can. Go up to the start menu and click the built-in designs and we're just going to go ahead and use Design number 22. When we bring it up on screen, you're gonna see what we're gonna to start to play with. So we have this here, and we'll probably need to embroider it a little bit lower than what it is. Now there's actually kind of a neat outside border here. Let me actually go and we'll, but I wanna put a monogram in the middle. And then we're gonna skip stitching all this uh, kind of teal area. So we're gonna go up, come up here and pick our alphabets. I wanna do the palace script in the largest size. Now, if you want more alphabets, remember you have the quick font option. It's a free download from Husqvarna Vikings website. And you wanna go ahead and click here to find that video and how to go ahead and do that. I'm gonna just go ahead and do an S and do the green check mark. And even for right now, hmm, let me see. Well, that's okay, I can handle this. I'm gonna just bring that right to kind of the center. Since I can see where the center of that design is, is go ahead and move that. Now, oh, here we go, let's zoom in. So I'm gonna touch the Alt button, touch the zooming, and I'm gonna do a little box around that, kind of really get just that area. I'm touching and holding, letting go, and then I can bring that S to be completely centered, switch to Alt and bring back so I can touch and move it. There we go. Isn't that so much easier than trying to see it on the bigger screen? Now since an S is kind of leaning, I'm gonna kind of put it a little bit offset so the majority of the letter does look like it's centered on and in that design. Okay, so let's go ahead and zoom back out, show the whole area. And let's see here, that should be, well, see, I've got a design on the hoop, so we'll just go ahead and see if that is going to change anything. Let me see if I can make that S a little bit bigger and increase the size. Ooh, I can, let's do that. Maybe let's zoom back in. One more thing, you know, you kind of get an idea and go, ooh, wonder how that would look. Well, you just have to go ahead and try it, actually. Still looking good to move it, I'll just touch here kind of center it there and go back to yep and we'll now we'll zoom back out full screen can see where we are so when I we're gonna go ahead and see if I'm gonna embroider over the rest of my design or if I'm gonna move everything to a slightly lower position so I'm gonna go ahead and touch go and then we're gonna go ahead and check. So let's go ahead and zoom out so you can see what I'm looking for on my fabric. So I've got a design back here that I just don't wanna stitch into, but I wanna get it as close as possible. So let's go ahead and touch the basic design positioning. It's kind of a little flower with four arrows. And what we can do is we can use these little arrows at the bottom of the screen to kind of get an idea. Where is this going to embroider? Now right now, I do have plenty of room. My design is about an inch and a half away. So if I do wanna move this whole entire design up, I can go ahead and do it. Notice it's moving my design and my S. And as I slide it, my needle is sitting right here. So I can see if I'm gonna to get too close to where I am. Then now I can go ahead and continue around see about where this design's gonna stitch. I always recommend doing this before you do anything uh, without knowing. All right, if you wanna see the center position, so if you wanna bring it back to the center. I moved it up, but now it went kind of off to the side. And I've got a line that goes right up and down, so I'm gonna just move it a little bit back to this side. And once we get there, it does very small increments, which is nice. You can really get it dialed in and fine tuned. But sometimes that does take a little time to move. But that's okay. When you get there, you know perfect. Needle down, that always tests where you are. Let's go ahead and do the green check mark. And now our design is ready to stitch. Since we're doing some finessing of order of color, let's go ahead and touch on the color block. Notice that the design is the first four colors and the monogram is the fifth color. So I'm gonna skip the first two colors. All I need to do is whatever block I pick, that's the color it's gonna stitch. So if I don't want to do all this fill in behind the monogram, we'll just skip those colors and start with color number three. Do color number four, there's kinda of like two borders to this and then we'll finish with the monogram. Thank you. 
I love the options that you have when you combine designs and even start with something that's a whole design, use a part and piece and add something to it. You get something totally different. Wouldn't that look great on a set of towels for maybe a new bride or just for your own bathroom or kitchen? You can have things that are monogrammed and it didn't take so long because all the stitching in here was eliminated so this is actually stitched out super fast.